हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम कल्पना जायस हेड ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ लिबरल आर्ट्स असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हिस्ट्री नोएडा इंटरनेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन कॉजेज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल रिवोल्यूशन इन इंग्लैंड द चेंजेस इन इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेस क्लासिफाइड इन सिक्स कैटेगरीज नंबर वन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग देर वॉज अ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बिकॉज the reasons we will be discussing later on first i would like to explain what kind of revolution was there development of engineering develop revolution in manufacturing iron and steel use of steam and hydro power development of chemical industry next In later half of 18th century the machine age was introduced by scientific inventions which made production on large scale possible domestic production was replaced by machine production there was unprecedented unprecedented growth in commerce and trade throughout the world so far as england was concerned next fifth development of coal mines which was very much necessary for industrial revolution in order to give the fuel to the industries six development of means of transportation in order to supply the goods and commodities to the overseas market development of transportation was very much required in order to support this revolution these changes were very rapid and fundamental in nature that's why in order to describe that kind of developments the industrial revolution term was coined by the researchers that's why it was called industrial revolution it came for the first time in england in late 18th century now question arises why industrial revolution came for the first time in england only not in any other part of the world the causes are as follows next number 1 enormous expansion of overseas trade of britain why that expansion took place now question arises as english goods were very much demand in foreign countries and it created a kind of stimulus for british manufacturers to raise the fast rate of production of the commodities so it required the inventions of machine machines like spinning jenny of hargreaves mule of arkwright that kind of inventions helped a lot to raise the fast rate of production which was required in england so it helped a lot in order to revolutionize the industrial process now people have called that kind of invention scientific invention supported industrial revolution and it was the prime reason for becoming that kind of revolution possible but in my contention without any need there as we have heard in our childhood necessity is the mother of inventions so without the growing demand in the markets for the goods we are not compelled to make that kind of mechanism to meet out the demands or necessities ne availability of capital availability of capital was there with england because of huge profits out of that kind of expansion of trade in different markets so england acquired loanable capi capital also and there were lot of investors which were encouraged to see the growth of demand for english goods in overseas markets and that way england acquired monopoly in foreign trade and it excluded the countries like spain holland and france etc number 3 practical bent of mind of british researchers british scientists were very much practical sort of they were researchers of the they were trying to meet out the immediate necessities of the time they were busy and asked by the government of england what is the requirement of the hour and they made 
like Jenny of Hargreaves, Spinning, Mule of Arkwright, that kind of machines in order to support industrial revolution. Next reason for becoming industrial revolution possible in England was a small population. A small size of population in England was one of the important factor for making this industrial revolution possible because you might be surprising to know why a small population is the factor behind any revolution where as if there any revolution comes mass support or uh, participation of more and more people is very important. As a small population as in order to meet out the growing demand uh, through manual work there is a requirement of lot of human resource which was not available in England. So, they needed machines and it was only possible through the scientific inventions which were required and the British scientists made it possible through their researches and inventions. Next social and political stability that is also very important for any kind of revolution in any country as geographically located England was cut off from rest of the European countries and it was immune from wars and battles and any kind of internal rebellions. So, there was peace and stability in political and social system which facilitated this wonderful industrial revolution as people were having faith in the system and they were ready to invest their capital into the new ventures and they were taking risk and they were happy about it and British industrialists were very much enterprising and having practical bent of mind and ready to bear the risk of upcoming things. Next, agriculture revolution. Agricultural revolution had already taken place in England prior to industrial revolution as industrial revolution was supported by agricultural revolution in the that way because raw material was very much easily available to the industries. In order to make any kind of commodity you need first raw material supply of raw material and the cotton. Cotton was very much required for making textile as we know textile trade was very much famous with British East India company and they flourished through their cotton mills or cloth mills throughout the world and created a sort of monopoly in the international market. Next, presence of enterprising people. Presence of enterprising people was one of the most important factor for development of industries in any country rather it was the same case with England as enterprising people who they are very good managers and can channelize their resources in proper manner in order to make this revolution possible and required needs were satisfied throughout the world through these enterprising people. Better means of transport as we are talking about enormous expansion of overseas trade. So, transport is necessitated at this time in order to make the supply possible to the different markets. So, better of means of transportation also helped a lot this revolution as production is useless without making it supply to the needy people or the consumers. So, better means of transportation was one of the most important factor behind making this revolution useful and possible. Next, at last I would like to discuss a very important point of industrial revolution. It was one of the prime cause geographical location of England was fabulous as it was cut off from the other European countries on the map and it was immune from like Napoleonic wars and battles and it was nowhere the part of any kind of rebellion or internal dis disturbance by this kind of thing it make political system stable and supportive to the production in the industries and cities like Manchester, Liverpool and city of Leeds emerged as major industrial cities in England. So, 
Now the lecture is over, tomorrow we would like to discuss the impact of this revolution in England, what kind of social and political impact it had, we will discuss tomorrow, thank you.